What up humans, I'm in Panama. Howdy folks, guess who's back? I'll cut straight to the chase. Today's episode will not be that riveting, I have to say. This time transiting from Costa Rica to Panama was not adventure packed or picturesque, but a fair bit happened and I packed it into a very short amount of time. In the span of 24 hours, I had a big night on the town, made a heap of new friends, had a very awful transit, times two, including an overnight bus, arrived in Panama City at 4 a.m. and then proceeded to explore all of Panama City, well, not all, but as much as I could until 11 a.m. where I had a briefing for my sandbox adventure tour. So, without further ado, let me show you how I transited from Costa Rica to Panama City in the blink of an eye. So I farewelled Alex and now I'm on my way to Panama. Um, as with all shuttle pickups in the Central American region, I have been waiting in the middle of nowhere for 40 minutes now. I've contacted the agency, they're not even online on WhatsApp at the moment, so they haven't got my message or my calls, and I genuinely don't know what's up. It's just really annoying, and every car that comes by is not a shuttle, so uh, it just sucks not knowing, because I really need to cross the border today, and I paid money for the shuttle already. So, fingers crossed. In fucking classic Central American fashion, so my shuttle bus never turned up because they sent a WhatsApp to the wrong number last night telling me to turn up half an hour earlier. Obviously never received it because it wasn't my number. I contacted them like 10 times in an hour being like, where are you? They replied by email when I emailed them saying, send me a screenshot being like, I sent you this um, to tell you that you have to be there. I was like, you sent it to the wrong number. And this is just the annoying part of travel. I had to walk five kilometers into town and I'm gonna freaking Get a refund from that bullshit company and book a new one. Oh, it's just annoying. I really wanted to get to Bocas del Toro early because I don't have much time there and I wanted to explore. So after verbally abusing the people who, very diplomatically, who saw our ticket, got a fucking refund, making my own way. It's 11.02, racing back to the hostel. I drop my bags out and then I'm doing my own thing. Okay, I'm taking the public bus with my two German pals. Actually, I don't know your names yet. You have to, Daniel? Finn. And Finn, my new best friends. We're all gonna go across the border together and catch a taxi to Boca del Toro. I am so sweaty. And then, yeah, fuck shuttle buses is what we've learnt today. And yeah, that's gonna be my day. I'm tapping out and hopefully this bus will come on time. We're on the bus. No one is allowed to next or near me. This was particularly frustrating transit because I wanted to get to Boca del Toro as soon as possible since I only had a very short time there. <laughs> We're at the border! Woo! This is the border and we are about to cross. I go, oh, I need to get my bag. Mochila, por favor. I'm gonna get my bag. But she's still there. That's what I said, boy. We're gonna pay the tax over here. It's a $9 US tax. See? $9 US tax. And you pay it over here and then the border is up there. I would not have known to buy a pay of the tax here. Okay. We swiftly paid our tax so we could head straight to border control. Okay. We're all done here at the border. Yep. Gracias. And then we've left Costa Rica. So we are crossing the bridge into Panama. Gotta get into Panama immigration. But then smooth sailing, it is so hot. I'm so jealous. These guys only have one bag. I'm so, so sweaty. It was a pretty iconic bridge border crossing. I just got checked by some soldiers and I'm soldiering on down, down, down into immigration. <sighs> I'm hot. We're going to immigration now, which is very, like, it's not conspicuous. You could easily just enter this country and not immigrate, which is what I've done in Bolivia and it's not ideal. You have to pay a bribe when you leave, but immigration is right there. Servicio Nacional de Migración. So I'm gonna do it legally this time. Quick disinfecting in the bus and the shuttle on the way. Uh, oh, and on top of all of this, just in case you forgot, I still had a third degree burn from a motorbike in Costa Rica on my leg that needed attending to on a daily basis. Now we're speedily in a shuttle to the port that gets us to Boca del Toro. The penultimate leg of this transit was a shuttle bus to the port, which would then take you to the island Boca del Toro. 
Uh, I think it was about 3 p.m. at this time and we still had about an hour to go. But we finally arrived at the port. I've been waiting a long time to buy a ticket and about to cross into Bocas del Toro. It's $10 return for a Welcome to Panama. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it's $10 return for people who are foreigners. So yeah, it will be paying that. And it's cheaper to just come back here on a boat yourself and get a bus out to Panama City. So I'll be doing that as well. Because I don't need to take a shuttle. At last, the final boat trip. I was so relieved. Had the jump from there into here. But made it to the boat. And we're off to Bocas del Toro. It's been a day. It's 4 p.m. It was a serene departure from the dock until the waves started to hit. I swiftly exited the boat and walked straight to my hostel so I could unpack and try and explore in what little time I had. Not bad. I got to Isla Colón and Bocas del Toro. I'm staying at Selena, even though I don't really want to be, but it's kind of cool hostel, I guess. And this is Bocas del Toro. I have one night here, and then tomorrow night I'm going to Panama City for my San Blas Island tour. But yeah, I'm just feeling a bit deflated at the moment and hungry. I've made a go in my hostel room, so I'm gonna wait for her to have dinner. And yeah. The island itself <laughs> offers pretty much exclusively partying so it wasn't entirely my scene and the weather was not on my side. However that night I ended up going out with a big group from the hostel and didn't get back till 2am. I was proud of myself. Okay so it is 10am and this filthy Friday thing is already starting. There are people lining up. Uh, it's like a massive event here the filthy Friday and I will be missing it because I'm leaving uh, to go to Panama City but I'm not really fussed honestly I just I'm chill but uh yeah, that's apparently a huge party central and I'm kind of glad not to be doing it. <laughs> I had a good night out at Aqua Lounge last night, so I'm going to end on a high there. At uh, this beautiful bakery, which has a really nice stuff, I'm just getting a warm focaccia. I am very excited. All the stuff looks amazing. Look good. Muchas gracias. <laughs> Look at that. That is <laughs> juicy. <laughs> Ooh la la. With the clouds still looming, I spent a few hours with some German pals while I waited for my bus. So I ended up experiencing a bit of what Filthy Friday entailed. It's raining and we're swinging. <laughs> It felt quite strange as observing these people go absolutely mental. Within about an hour, every single person there was absolutely off their face and I was completely sober, having a great old time at spectating pretty much. But um, yeah, I think I was a bit sad that I wasn't joining in, but also I really don't drink that much, so it wasn't entirely my scene. So I'm at the bus stop to get a ticket to Panama City. I just realized that they sell out really quickly. I was reading a few blogs hastily and yeah, I need to book it now, but it's way cheaper. So it's $40 if you pay for through a hostel, but it's only 27 if you pay for it now. And then it's a $5 ferry there. So you save eight US dollars and it's the same thing. So I think, yeah, for me it's handy and I'm about to get the ticket. Yes. So we have the ticket and I am seat number one. Very exciting. Got my uh, free departure snacks. I am gonna be not eating for like 14 hours, 15 hours. I'm not peeing, hopefully. That watermelon was probably a bad idea. I'm um, at the ferry, my boat stop in Isla Colón at Boca de Toro. About to head to Al Milan's here and then catch the bus to Panama City, which is an overnight bus. I have a quick one for you. Here's one da sandwich. They're pretty yummy. I'm not really going to be eating one for 13 hours, so I have cookies, watermelon, zero protein. Great. It's exactly 5 p.m. I'm going to get to the Alvante uh, at 5.30 and then the long transit begins. I should be getting to Panama City in a bit over 12 hours, hopefully. So remember, I wasn't lying when I said this video was a bit boring and was pretty much just transit. But that's life when you travel. It's not all sunshines and rainbows. I have time, like an hour, 
in 15 to my bus, so I'm just gonna walk to the bus stop. It costs a dollar to catch the bus, uh, to catch a taxi there, but I haven't really done much today. I mean, I've walked only 15,000 steps, which is not much for me. And um, yeah, I just feel like moving. So I'm just gonna walk to the bus stop. It's kind of a boring walk. You just turn here and right, and then it's straight pretty much the whole way. I like doing this sort of stuff. And it's very safe, I feel. Maybe wrong, but it's still daylight and there's a lot of people around. Hola, que tal? <laughs> These vultures are so big, oh my god. They are massive. <gasps> okay. So, so funny, everyone is asking me what happened to my leg. I've had three people ask me. I've got a stupid bandage on still. And then they're like, oh, and then if you're like, oh, motorbike, I was like, yes. Yeah, not good, not good. I've arrived at the bus station. That's the first bus. I could have just got 6 p.m. to be honest, but I'm getting this 6.45 p.m. I guess it gets me in Panama early anyway. But I've just bought two boiled eggs for a dollar, which is pretty good. I just need something protein-wise, so happy with that. Cool. We're so good. I'm a very happy girl. And I've just bought this plantain thing, which I'm about to try. I have no idea what it is, but we'll give it a go. It's sweet. Uh, a bit dry. I go here in the middle. This isn't very good. Mm, in the middle. That's not bad. I throw the off my back more. It's a bit late, but the bus has come. Woo. city and I am off to explore the main road is here I asked if I should walk to Panama Canal so it's like a nine kilometer walk but she said it wasn't too safe the lady at the hostel so I guess I get an uber there in a bit but I have a lot of time to kill and I'm just gonna explore my hair is a bit skew if okay cool let's see what Panama City holds for us the second I arrived at the bus station I took an uber to get to my hostel dropped my bags off the hostel and literally just left. Me being me, I actually did want to explore. Not a bad skyline. Only went out here. And uh, just gonna explore, I guess. Not really sure what the surround, but there's fish marks apparently over there. I'm just going along the coastal route apparently. What up humans? I'm in Panama. Okay, I'm gonna walk now. It's like a nice little coastal run walk sort of thing, so excited to actually explore. I'm feeling a bit hungry but I don't know really what to eat. I've had a bit of a weird transition with food. I'm kind of like a, I don't know, I've been up for 14 hours awake-ish, sort of sleeping. I don't even know. The overnight buses really like screw me up. 
in a way that's weird. Ooh, that sunset's nice. All right. Ooh. A Panama City sunrise. Gracias. It's really nice. I like it. Everyone's out jogging. Getting steps in, I guess. And I'm just going to be strolling for this morning. Take some snaps. It's really lovely. So many beautiful cats. Hello. It is gorgeous. What a beautiful city. In this next part, count how many times I say, oh, I really like it here. Oh, I love it. But I honestly was pleasantly surprised. Feels like a little, uh, like a sleepy coastal fishing town. I don't know. It feels so sweet. And there's the fishing docks there and the fish markets are over there. I'm going to go around. It's the Sintra Costa. I can't exactly remember what it's called, but um, it's a beautiful walk. And then from there, I'm going to try and find some Wi-Fi and get an Uber to Panama Canal. And then I have to back at my hostel at 11 a.m. for a briefing for the Sound Blast tour tomorrow. So I'm really glad that I skipped Filthy Fridays in the end. I was a bit sad about it before, but I'm glad because I'm here and I wouldn't be here enjoying this beautiful sunrise without having made a sacrifice. And yeah, I think with my trip, all things have ended up on a certain path of my own choosing. And uh, yeah, it's been good. I'm happy. Look how calm the waves are. After pretty much two days of transiting, it was the perfect way to spend my final morning before the Sand Blossom Adventure Cruise. So I'm walking on the Cinta Costera, which is this nice little like, external bridge slash walkway with, with really nice views. So we got the city on the left there. And then a beautiful little kind of old town area there. I'm going to be heading to very soon. This track takes you on the other side of the Casca Viejo, which is separated by the body of water to my right. And the Casca Viejo is the old town of Panama City. Oh, it got too hot and I forgot my sunnies as well. So hair is up and squinting a lot. But it's really, I love this. This is the perfect morning. I wish I could provide some background information as to where I am and the history, etc. But I have genuinely zero idea. There's a bridge over there that looks exactly like the Sydney Harbour Bridge, which is kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, I've just come here, haven't really researched anything. So I guess I have today to learn a lot about Panama City. I'll be learning about the Panama Canal soon. And um, yeah, I'm hoping to understand more. I really, really, really like it here. I'm very surprised, very surprised. That's the end, and then I'll find some Wi-Fi to get an Uber to uh, Panama Canal. All before 8 a.m. It's only 7.38 right now. There's a beautiful coloured street of houses there. Uh, there are a bit of, I don't know, I feel a bit uncomfortable there. There are these men who were sort of following me, so... I left pretty quickly so I didn't get a chance to video to look at those, but there's one on the floor. Um, and I'm just going to figure out, there's like a cafe or something where I can get Wi-Fi so I can order an Uber. I'm not sure. I thought it was just like a hustling place, but it's quite quiet. Being the savvy gal I am, I am ordering an Uber to Miraflores Locks. It costs five dollars US instead of a taxi, which they were charging fifteen US. And I knew it would be cheaper, so I had to hustle and get some Wi-Fi because I have lost all my Clara data. And uh, yeah, we're on our way to Panama Canal. Timestamp: eight a.m. I've arrived at the canal, Mira Flores 2000, here we are. There's an IMAX here as well. So I'm buying my ticket at the Bolivaria and you pay $17.22 for the entrance and then also a movie with Morgan Freeman which describes the Panama Canal. So I will probably not have time to watch the movie, but we'll see. Here is the Panama Canal. There's a lot of people viewing it. There are spectator stands so you can sit and watch as the boats come by. That is so cool. 
I honestly could not believe how many people were there at that time of morning. It was before 9 a.m. and there were so many people, as you can see. It was absolute chaos. It is a literal zoo here. So there are two boats at each side trying to cross. There's still the same door since 1914. While we spectated, the loudspeaker had information in both English and Spanish. But I can share a few facts about the Panama Canal with you as well. Construction was completed in 1914 and it's considered one of the seven modern wonders of the world. It's an 82 kilometer long artificial waterway that connects Panama to the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean. I spoke to a man who worked at the Panama Canal and he told me that some people spend the entire day just watching the ships pass. It's an architectural marvel, but I would never spend an entire day there. I gave it a few hours. And now I'm lining up for the IMAX movie. Oh, sorry. Drop my camera off. Lid. This is the line. I stuck around to watch the documentary of the Panama Canal voiced by the legendary Morgan Freeman before I headed back to my hostel and joined the rest of the Sandblast Adventure team departing on the next day. <laughs> this is the uh, briefing for the Sandblast Island cruise. I made three copies of my passport to um, prepare for the Colombian border crossing and, and some groceries and you have to buy your own water for the Sandblast Islands tour which is kind of annoying but oh well, fun. And now I'm going back to my hostel. I spent the rest of the afternoon getting to know the travellers I'd be spending the next four days on a boat. I don't want to feed you guys up. <laughs> and continue the bonding throughout the wee hours of the night. Bonding included watching the crazy Canadians help each other do bicep curls. It was quite entertaining to watch, I must admit. <laughs> so awkward. Alright. Right now, I push down your curl. <laughs> it's at 4 15 a.m. I've got my rubbish bags that I have been lying in my bag with. So that is my task. And at 5 a.m. we're off. My scar is looking better, I think. And it's not hopefully getting infected. It's just uh, still scary. I don't know. Being in an island area for four days without medical attention. With an injury like mine is not ideal. That's cute with me, so. Fully packed. Driver's here. Dawn Green. Everyone else needs to as well. Let's vamos. Oh, who's that? Oh, it's Frida. Oh, as always, thank you so much for watching. I am so excited for next time. I'll be sharing my time spent with Sandblast Adventures in the Sandblast Islands for four days. We slept on the islands, transited on tiny little speedboats for two hours each day to different islands, made lifelong friendships, ate some delicious food, and felt like the past of Castaway. And all of this was during our transit to Colombia, which is the next country I'll cover after Panama. Thank you again for watching. See you next time.